All right, so today I'll be carrying on with the render graph in a backwards manner. In order to carry on with the render graph, I need to take a step back for the moment. Because what happened way back in the day is when I was dealing with uh, graphics, like runtime and session information, when you like gave it layers or extensions or on the session side, it's the same things. It would just kind of, it, the runtime of the session would be created with those, but there was no way for you to query it. So what's happened now is that thanks to, let me, yeah. As part of uh, XR, dealing with the render graph XR items using the new timeline semaphores, which is a Vulkan 1.2 thing, I've had to kind of add some things that I didn't really want to, or I wasn't quite prepared for. For example, one thing is that in order to use the timeline, synchrono, timeline semaphores, I need to add this extension. And when you're actually starting up the session, Okay, come on, show it. You also need to enable a, a feature through this and then pass it in to the device at creation time. Now, for one, I only have layers and extensions when you're creating the session slash device. So I don't have a, a way to pass in features, which is not great. But also, this presents another problem, which is that when I decide to, when I have like, um, plugins or libraries that are loaded into the application at runtime, I need the ability for A, those plugins, like if they have graphics capabilities and require graphics session state and blah, 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 like that. First of all, I need to query, I need to say like, this is what I need. I need in the case of like whatever the XR render graph stuff will turn into, I need to say, hey, I need this feature and I need, you know, the, the, the extension down here or wherever it is that goes with it. I need that extension. I need that feature. I need to be able to pet, say, I need these and then pass them in. Uh, secondly, I need the ability to, when I'm adding these plugins, I need to say, I need to be able to query, does the runtime and graphics runtime in the graphics session that's currently, if it already exists and it's already running, does this already have what I need? So like if it does, then you know I could just get, carry on initializing and what have you. Or if it doesn't, I can request, hey, I need, you, you, you need to restart the graphics state because I need to add my stuff onto it and then pass it in. So like I have no way for graphics session and runtime get that stuff out and I have no way of passing features into a creating when creating a session at all. So those are two things I need to do. So to start, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this back on the render graph and I'm going to go to, I'm going to create, I'm going to go with the clean state for this. Back to main, nothing else. Okay, good. Uh, graphics state. Graphics session state. Something like that. What I'm going to do is for the first part, for this part, um, enabling the holding, you know, the layers and extension information, embedding that as part of, let's say, runtime and session, because it's not right now, and then being able to get that stuff out. So to start with, let's, let me have a look at what exactly I have for the runtime. The runtime is the most basic thing. So when I'm creating a runtime, a Vulkan runtime, I'm passing in a vector of strings for both layers and extensions. Okay. Then I go in, I bring it in. I have a new, because the instance create info takes in a set of uh, char star pointers, not strings. So I have these extra things, which iterate. Yeah, iterate through, add them 
added the pointers to the starts of those strings to it, and then I passed that in. Okay. So, as part of the runtime itself, I can, let's say, I can add these. Just, I could just, I can, standard string, uh, sorry, vector. I can't do pointers because the strings may, uh, I only have strings uh, for as long as they're in this con this um, scope. I can't, so I need to either do copies, layers, standard vector, and extensions, and then I'd be able to do the same thing on the other side. So. I'd also need some new functions down here, which would be, does it require, no, it doesn't require Vulkan for this. This standard error code, git um, runtime layers. And then, like, how am I getting this stuff back out? Do I want to pass? I don't want to carry on with having to use CPP stuff everywhere. I could just follow along with the UN32T uh, Vulcan idea. They've got a pretty good thing going on. So it'd be like P layer names, layers, layer count. And then, then char star star no because then I need two strings at returned. I need one ar array. No, and I don't want to pass back like direct pointers to the the data I hold. That's a bad idea. Ah, right. Okay. This is what? First of all, we'll have a vector of strings. Uh, that's an allocation, perhaps many allocations, depending on the length of some of these layer extension names. Is there a way I can really reduce this down? Yeah, actually there is, isn't there? Um, I recall, I'm not sure where, but somewhere in Vulkan there's like a return struct that just return, you, it returns the array of strings with that uses the null character, the zero, as the delimiter. So I can, I could, um, layers length and then a char star which is the P layers something like that I just have one long string and then I have the length and I just delimit it with the zeros so that just limits it down to one allocation for that, one allocation for that. That's better. And then, okay, is there any good thing from this? Oh yeah, yeah. So then I can actually just instead, I could just pass, I can just pass in and out this P layer, something like that. P layers, P layer count. P layers. Ooh, no, no. This isn't a count. Layer le names length. Something like this. Mm. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see how this works. Okay. So on runtime, after I've successfully created the instance, I'm then going to say, okay, first of all, uh, this. So we need to say, hey, you know, star p new. Actually, where do I even create this? Hmm. Yeah, first of all, I need to blank it out. Then I come down to after I've created the instance, and I say, "Okay, I've created it. So now I need to I need to embed I need to get the information out." Right. Okay. Um, layers. Yeah, total length. So we're going to have to figure out the total length of all the strings put together. So you need to go through for auto and iterator of in final layers. Then I have to say, hey, total length is that plus string length of what iterator is pointing at. And I need an extra one <clears throat> for the null character at the end afterwards. Because, yeah, because string length by default will just be the actual data, not the data plus the, the ending char limiter. Okay, uh, let me actually just kind of put that down. Okay, if total length equals zero. Well, actually, yeah. Um, get out. Something like that. It'll just skip this part. Otherwise, char star. Not equals zero. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was. What am I? What am I doing? If not, then you go and start. You say char star equals char times total length. P new runtime. Uh, layers length equals total length. That equals that. I need to add something for on the, the end here. Was it? It's it's new, right? So I can just delete. New, yeah. Okay, we'll also have to delete uh, p runtime and p extensions soon. Extensions, okay. So now I need to go through and how many strings are there? Okay, four. Okay, we're going through all the final layers like that. <clears throat> we'll just do a mem copy. Going into the destination, so it's p names of iterator where we are for the length of the string. 
um, the names plus equals string length of iterator. The thing we're sitting at equals zero. No character. Okay, this is going to say like, yeah. So don't oh, know. We'll just kind of save this specifically, and we increase it by one. Okay. So that happens for layers. Okay. I'll have to make that a, a copy for that for extensions if this works. But first, let's do this. Let's make sure that the other side of this is going to work as I hope it will. All right. So what do I do? First of all, if p layer names is null pointer, then we can just say with a destination pointer isn't provided. And Update and return the length required. It'll be something like this uh, star p layer means length equals. I need to grab the handle, convert it to a pointer, and then do p runtime. That for graphics incomplete. Do I have this? I don't recall having this. Is some kind of weird copilot nonsense going on. Uh, error code. I don't have it. Okay, but that's a good idea to have. Okay, no, it's but that's not the one we want. We want the incomplete if uh, for another case. I need to include. Okay, uh, so that's the first case. The second case is if let's see. If the provided area is greater than what we need, layer names length is greater than or equal to what we need. Uh, layers length. Then we could just do a mem copy up to the required thing. So p layer names that p layers and it's p one time layers length. Okay. That equals p run time layers length. Okay. We return a success case. Otherwise, we're going to have to do something a bit funky because we're going to have we're, we're going to return as much as we can fit in, but we of course won't be able to fit in 
everything so we'll have to probably stop it earlier so we need to start from the offset the max offset we have and work backwards until we find the null terminator or we reach the beginning of the string again it will basically offset zero in which case we don't have room for anything then we are also going to return at the end of it the new incomplete error like we return something but it's incomplete so we all got, got an offset which is equal to where we're starting while um, offset is not zero and what we're looking at Offset not equal that we'll keep going backwards. Then once we're out of there we'll say if offset is not equal to zero, then we have stuff we can copy in, which is great. Oh uh but regardless there's equals offset whether or not zero yeah you'll need to we're going to go to there starting at p runtime there and it's going to be up to offset. All right. Uh, let me check. We have what? One layer, one extension. So that's not very useful, is it? I mean, this will be called somewhere. Let's find where this is called specifically. And add stuff. Okay. Okay. Pass that in. We're going to end test count. We'll just say this equals zero to start with. We'll get that, and then we'll have char star uh, char test of let's see, fifty. Then we'll have like this. Fill that in. Okay, let's see how this works. If at all, that BRB while that goes off. Okay, back and it looks to have built. So let's see what's going on. What's going to happen? I am curious. Also, let me. Oh. Okay, we're there. Test count of zero. Going through, we have a test count of 28. Okay, great. Test is just a whole bunch of zeros. Okay. It happens, and we get VK layer Kronos validation. With that, okay. Um, when I. Pass this in. Do I add any other layers? I see an extension there for that. So I'll have at least two extensions. Okay. So I can let, let me uh, do the same thing on extensions then, because that's that is okay so far. But that's only using a single given in uh, layer. Let's do a copy. 
and paste. Yep, okay, final extensions, extensions. That and that, okay, great. And then we'll do a copy and paste of this. Okay, now we do the same thing. In the application. Okay. This count gives us 54, so just above uh, the size of the array I have. So let's see what we got. It's going to, so it should, A, test count should be like less than 54, less than 50, probably. And test should have some stuff that I'm looking, oh, no, that's not happening at all. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so going back here somewhere okay did not do it for extensions perhaps that's what's going on ooh I didn't even reach that Okay, am I doing something crazy here? Okay. Final extensions, which has three surface, surface, and debug report. Okay. Great. We. Increased it by that many to a new location. That's great. And three. Then we're out. Okay. As P new runtime has. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We're in here. We have runtime, P runtime, which is extensions of that. Okay. VK layer. And that at least starts with this. One and probably has the others uh, kind of hidden behind it. Hmm. Oh, right. Uh, that's my bad because this should be actually set back to down to fi uh, fifty. That is entirely my fault and not the fault of fault of the test code, not whatever. It's me anyways. Okay, we're here. Great, 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 great. 
Um, moving back by one to this test. It's currently a whole bunch of. Uh, I need to have a, like a bunch of garbage data in there. I can't have this. Okay, it's returning 33, which is great. Test is. I don't know if. Wait, thir okay, 33 would be 0 to. Whoops. Would be 0 to 32. 33 characters written. So it's not. I don't think it's doing the actual ending null. Um. Test. Whatever. Wait, what are, set n bytes of s to c. Okay, yeah, I got this the wrong way around. So it's int, which is what? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like that, let's say. <sighs> so I, I'm just looking for stuff around 33 to be garbage. Please. Perfect, minus 77. Aha, uh -huh. yep, exactly what I was afraid of. Uh, run time. If offset is not equal to zero, then we're at the end of the last string. So we just need to increment it by one. Okay. Test a bunch of 77s, including around the 33 section. We carry on. We do it again. Test is... Yes, the, the ending null. And that should be like 34, right? 34. Perfect. Now, I'm these the, the layer and extensions is basically going to be the exact same for uh, the session as well both putting it in and getting it back out. So let's see if I can copy these into like a third, uh, another uh, function thing. Um, Graphic state string detail. Uh, <laughs> I mean, everything in here is functions, basically. Whatever you 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 till stuff. Do 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 twenty two twenty two. So we'll have let's say a function that does this. Let's kind of have it here for a moment. 
we will say what compact to single string to delimited string We'll take in string count. Strings that we're bringing in. Source count. Destination, something like that. Okay. So it's going to be, uh, this needs to change up to, let's say, source count. Plus iterator. Okay, great. Uh, and it's going to be this iterator. No. Or is it just C standard def I'm missing? For size t, there we go. Okay, no, maybe not. Uh, pp source. Oh, I don't have c string. There we go. Okay, uh, total length p names. array so this becomes that that equals that we need to do this again just say this is I Okay, and then we have to do, let's um, do it for extensions because that's the interesting one. So compact string, compact to the to do um, Convert to the limited string. So we take what final extensions dot size, extensions dot data, run new runtime, extensions length. T extensions, okay. Okay, what are we undeclared identifier? I haven't added it yet. I 
That sounds a bit better, doesn't it? I need to... I don't have to do anything quite yet. Back to application. Let's have a look here. Okay. Test is garbage. Test count, blah, blah, blah. Test count should be 34. We have it in test. And it is indeed surface, XCB surface. Great. And then if I was to increase this to 60. Even if it's greater than the 54 it's supposed to be. It'll also, test count will go back down to 54. Mm -hmm. This is now uh, kernel surface, XCB surface, and then debug report, and it ends at 54. Okay, good. So that's one thing. Same thing for layers. We've got to do this side where we are going to code. It has a source length. The source, and then we got the UN32 for the destination length, and then destination that we're working with. Mm -hmm. Need this portion. So I need to include that, uh, this. that okay and then we will wait hold on did I get this right hold on I don't think I did yes 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 I'm missing ah this almost I almost got screwed over by the having different implementations for the same thing <sighs> right That is what we're doing. Mm, illegal instruction. Oh, I didn't actually return it.
Okay. Okay, let's split this up into source side as well. I don't want to have it inline. That's pointless. I, I, I'd rather reuse this the four times I can. So graphics. Like that. that but we do include that we don't have C string C standard int we do have okay okay Okay, so that's front time side. Now I need to do the same thing on the session side. And then I, I need to add uh, implementing features. So to start with the new functions. That we're gonna go to the session side down here. We'll add them right about here. I need to grab out the session handle pointer. For one, I need to include that new. something like that instead. Here we go. We're going to have to add. So we got a device, the allocator, the stuff, Q families. Then we'll have like, yep. Yeah, here will be. Extensions, okay. So 
So we're starting with on the delimited string, we have the source of so P session. Is that the same I actually have here? Layers lengthen, yeah. Okay, and then up here, after the device is created, interesting. Uh, layers. Something like that. Okay. Um, recession layers. Right. Okay, we have that. Now we want to do. Ah, is this that's graphics runtime? I need to find the graphics session now, which I've created down here instead. Seventeen. Okay, only have the one. So test is garbage, and then it will not be garbage now because it'll be VK grows swap chain, and that's the only extension I have on a graphics session, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, as the first part, let's kind of put that in as it is, if we can.
Oh, yeah, I need to do that on session side as well. Okay. session. Is empty. I can't actually do that. Probably probably because there's some things. Yeah, there's actual these things. Um, all right. Any of these things. Okay, let's add a bit more information. That's a bit better. That's one line. That's way better. Instead of
not sorry no pp How do I do out? If I do it at all. At param out. I, actually, I don't really have a good. I don't really know how it shows up. Okay. This isn't Something like that. Uh, actually, if it's zero, do I actually just return a null pointer? <clears throat> I mean, I should, right? Yeah, I should I should double check that. Oh yeah, if it's just that then it's nothing. It stays as the same. It doesn't actually modify it. Okay. Um
if Yeah, I need to uh If, okay, I gotta. If length is greater than zero, then we do that. What is this? What is this? Unsigned long? Whatever. Because if it's zero, then I don't want to actually add it, obviously. There's nothing there. Oh, and I should add that to the thing. Okay, now for the other side. Okay, you know what, this is just super boring, I'm just going to hold off, I mean, just going to pause recording until after this. Okay, that's enough documentation for now, for these. Anyways, right, this C standard system error, correct? Okay, let's go through these things again. Complete, yes. Actually, no, there was one thing I wanted to do. Procession, right? This, yes. Missing was not checked. Okay, 
Yeah, we got that. So we'll add that. Now we go for the rest of the stuff. So uh, session stuff, great. Session stuff. Layers and extensions. Layer, layer, layer. Extension, yeah. Layers, extensions, yep. Mm hmm. Uh, we don't need stream of vector here. Mm -hmm. Do I have a better thing that says Add that to this. Error code, we added that. Great. Added the delimited strings. Great. Mm -hmm. The new functions without documentation. Same thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. information. This adds both that state information to and functions to query limited strings. Null delimited strings. Okay, part of part one. Next part here is to do features. On, okay, I don't actually have it here because this is a different branch, but it would be here. I need the ability to add features, which is to do with those, uh, those three different feature um, struct types. Okay. Let me pause here, grab a quick drink, and BRB with this. Okay, back to this. Features are provided via mm -hmm, Vulcan Core. Physical device features is close. 
what I'm looking for is this features this and Vulcan features one one and one two whatever the things I did have earlier because I don't know which ones will be provided or requested uh, okay, let's close all this. We're going down to session. No, not quite this. Start with, we got to bring them in, which means a void star. Const star, actually. P features. Hmm. Bring that in. It goes down to here. Have that there. What we're going to do um... Okay, we need so we have that layers extensions and then I need to do something um, the idea is right I may be given, let's say, multiple versions of, you know, okay, let me kind of get a little bit out of the way first before I say anything. Device features two. This is the features for one version 1.0, which is this type equals structure. The idea is we have uh, plugins. May there may be many plugins with many different requests, like individually requesting like one or two features, maybe a bunch, maybe a few, whatever, right? And rather than have to like have like dozens of these hanging about, I want to only have one of each, and I only want to pass one of each into the VK device create info because I don't know exactly whether or not they support having multiple of an, either of these. And rather than do it in the layer above, like outside of this, I just rather like collect them all, not even bother with the logic and just like link them all through the PNX chain and pass them into here. And then in here, I'll have a specialized function that will merge these, like merge all the feature device uh, original what you know Vulcan 1.0 version uh, features down into one struct same thing with the 1.1 and 1.2 stuff and through that and then pass that in and use that hold that stuff here somewhere in the session information which is not even here it'd be here oh I screwed that up didn't I this and 
that. Okay. One, 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 two. Great. Now, alright, how am I going to do this? Okay, I need some kind of merge functionality. And I don't really want to do it manually because I'm pretty sure these uh, get pretty big. Yeah. And God knows what's going to happen for version 1.3 or 4. Well, whatever in the future. So, this calls for some tooling. Is it tool? Tools? Test? Tools. Plural. Okay, tools. Uh, we'll have like a what is it? Shell script. Yeah, I think I'll have a shell script. Um, We'll have something like this. We'll do it on an individual basis. So the shell script, plain old fashion shell. We'll have an in file, which for the moment will be user include Vulcan Vulcan core. I believe this location. Uh, name of the struct, which will be. We'll just start with. This one for the moment. S type equals that, and then I'll ha I'll switch those to be given the uh, command line arguments later. But for the moment, how does this work? We need to. Hmm. the right location? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I need to find that start. It's only twice. Okay. Start location this and location that. Okay, so. This will be on Unix. So, yeah. Start line will be like what? No. Type def. You know what? Whatever. Going to get the number, which is going to be type def struct struct. Space that in the in file. We cut to by the first colon. The second part. The left side will be the actual matching thing. Second, the other side will be this. Okay. That's the start line. Then I need the end line. Be that. Like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to read through each line. Do a said. Through the number of lines, which would be like, you know, 
start line to comma and line. Let's uh, do this libs for graphics. Okay, tools. Okay. Make this executable. Do do. No, did not happen. Something wrong on here. Okay, no, not that, right? Hmm. P? For. No. Oh, I didn't actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Where am I? In the set expression, I got an unknown option to S. Does it have to be, uh, is it, do I have it wrong? Is it like, uh, one? Yes, okay, so that's including everything, which I didn't really want to do. So, Just kind of and line minus one. Okay. Okay. Get the type out. I actually can just do this, can't I? Cut dash D. Yeah. Name. No, that's not going to work, is it? Will it? I don't know. No. Uh, because what's probably happened, okay, this needs to be in quotes, right? That's what's happening. No. What's probably have okay, what's happening is that echo is reduce removing all the like duplicate white space. So if I do that Nope. Maybe it removes it if I do that. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Um so cut that. We also need to cut the semicolon off the end yeah Okay, then we have the meat of whatever the function is going to be doing. So, all right. Blah. Okay. Oh, 
We're returning a struct. Do I want to return a struct or just modify one that already exists? Uh, this is an internal function, so I can actually modify the thing I already have, can't I? That would probably make the most sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So rather, we're not doing that. Void. Uh, but it'll be merge feature set struct. Open that. Struct. Master merge const and um, P source P destination. Close it up. Go open up the function. Blah 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 happens. Then we close it up. In which case I don't even need the S type. Like I just need those two. Blam. Uh, and then what's going to happen for the function is going to be what? To do if p source of the name what equals vk false, then p destination name equals vk true a whole bunch of times like that it looks good looks sensible anyways hmm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. This would be entirely doable in the C side as well. Wouldn't it? Yeah. But first, let's make sure that this is actually going to work. So let's grab this. Namespace. This is a blank namespace area, right? Yeah. Got that. We want to do version. Just one one. Much less. And then I want to do what was it? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of uh, things here. Good thing I'm not doing this manually. Anyways, we get all that together. Then here, we're, what we're going to do is we're kind of going to do this in reverse. So we say, hey, you know, dot p next equals in features. One zero. So 
sorry, 1, 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, hey, you know, dot p next equals this. Now, i uh, got to go through the features while p features. Not equal to no pointer. Okay, uh, no. Base in structure is what I'm looking for. P temp. Okay. P temp. If it equals this, then merge features. Set that. So I need to say, hey, you know, um, I'm equals that and the thing I'm putting it into which is this okay const star features okay so I, yeah I need like come on Can I say like, eh, <laughs> give me the reference of this? No, I can't. Like it's so close. And then this is saying, hey, I want that. No. Physical device features, great. And? I guess I just don't know what I'm doing at all. Am I 
blind? That's not that's not happening. Okay. I don't Physical device features, okay. And I want Am I crazy? Do I not know how to do this? Like what What? Okay, whatever. How about that. And that. Like, I uh, just, I don't know. Physical device features to pointer to, but if I remove this, then it turns into the correct thing, just not pointer. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, obviously. I will come back to this one because I don't know what I'm doing apparently. Vulcan one one. Okay. Let's say it's, you know. This star key features. 
to the destination, which is in features 101. That is fine and whatever. Okay, so, okay, yeah, and afterwards I need to I'm going to do that. Then afterwards, we did these and then well, hold on. Uh, this is already here, right? Sorry, no, this is already here. So what I can do... I don't even have to do this. I could just do them right here. I know we're kind of going backwards, but so be it. Doesn't really matter. This, this is just... Oh my god. It's me that's the problem. Oh, okay. As usual, I find myself to be the problem. Okay. Great. So we do that. Features are already in there. So that's good, I guess. So going back to here, we already have the features. So going down to graphics, where we should call this we have this we have no pointer for the moment so since this is null pointer right now it'll just go through and do absolutely nothing right skips. Perfect. Ooh, not good. Does it have to be um
Oh, I'm not in using um, right runtime. I'm using version. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. How do I change this up? We can make zero one two zero. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so it didn't fail. Okay, what I want to do here then always use the latest available runtime, so I need to DK enumerate. Um, instance version? Is that it? Whoop. Something like that. PAPI, yeah. Pass that around, perfect. Make sure that's, um, actually. Dang it, I had it, I had it. There it is. So it'll be somewhat close. It'll probably be like a couple hundred off for the specific header version. So, 4202698 versus, yeah, so it's about 202 off, which I believe is the version I'm using here. So that sounds about right. Uh, uh, 203, close enough. Get that in runtime. available API version okay great another little bit out of the way okay we're back to here Got the P next for these things. That's great. Now I need to kind of clean them up, and then I need to make them available. So, not here. Here, all uh, right.
and we'll just go through the uh, features chain that is provided. And if they screw it up, well, that's on them. Or if they give me uh, something that, something that's not a feature struct, that's on them. As well as if it's something I don't know, like if it's a version one three, that's probably not going to happen. As long as I keep this up to date, like right away, you know, whatever. What? So, hmm. Actually, hmm. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm thinking too far ahead. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, creating session. Sorry. Here, enumerate session layers, extensions, and then here, we're going to have this. So what's going to happen is ops first, grab the session thing, I'm going to do this. Base out structure this time. No, uh, let's say like P in here actually. And we'll say P out here. What's going to happen uh, at the end is p features equals p temp. Oh, sorry, p out, p next, like that. Okay, can I please? There we go, s type equals. Something like this. But I have to change things out a little bit. This equals, uh, oh, no, I need to keep P next. First, uh, void star P next. I need to reset it afterwards because... If I just do like a plain old equals, that's going to overwrite everything. And that also means that it'll overwrite P next. So I need to like save it and then reforge it at the end. Right. Um, so P session features 1.0 like that. And that'll do it. This is a, uh, oh yeah, this is that. So that's, that's correct. Psst. 
sorry. I just need to do this again. Mm, okay. That's pretty simple. Okay. Now to put it to the test, I need after the session. I need to add what was it timeline seven four stuff. Sorry, uh, don't save it. Please just reopen it. There you are. Bam. Right. Okay, back here again. Go down to the application. Right about the location I'm looking for. It's right here. Okay. So this is going to put that in. I want to do BK features. True. That's great. And then I put it in. It comes back out. And what I want to do is on the way back out here. And I'm going to go for graphics. DK enumerate runtime session features, which includes session. And one, two. All right, let's be horrified. How well does this, or how well does this work or not work? So, features one, two has nothing in timeline semaphore, and then it will have something in timeline semaphore, correct? No, it doesn't at all. Great. Uh, why not? P session features one two Ooh, do, 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 do. timeline semaphore does not have it. Okay, interesting, interesting. You right here. Do you just not work? Do you just not fire? You're not firing because I didn't pass you in, do I? Ah, 
yes. There it is. Okay. Features, features, great. I'll need to add a bunch of documentation for this, but, oh crap, yeah, and this stuff. So that's fine there. That's not really required here. Okay, how do I work with this? What am I going to do with this? I mean, I could just leave it as... I don't really want to leave it in there though. It's a little bit much, but I guess I really could. I just need to That okay. Well, I need to get the in file stuff done, so let me quickly <sighs> try to recall how I do this. BRB a sec, yeah. Okay, so in file is that instruct file. All right. No, 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 no. We'll just kind of say, you know.
Okay, we'll do that. This is documentation for that. That's great. We just kind of leave it there. Features, features one one. Features one two. Yeah. Okay, I can add just a little bit more stuff here, which just says echo. I don't know. Um, Something like that. Okay, we'll just, and we'll kind of have that here. Okay, we got that. We got, um, Include Vulcan, Vulcan, core dot H, like that. Yeah. Okay, that works. So got all that. Okay. And then I'll just kind of do print message and call it a night. So. I'm going to have to add more documentation, more testing, but I'll see if I can do that offline. All right. As part of a graphics session, to the new Okay, I'll put that up and call it a night right there.
Cheers.